Hi, I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. What to, I'm going to discuss today is um, what's coming up in the month of July. And they got a few things because I've got, been getting emails. And I, I just want you to know about what's going on in Connecticut. So I have an announcement of uh, Music in the Carriage House Theater. That's at, over at 360 Farmington Avenue. And a young man is going to be there, Mr. O's. He sings R&B. I haven't had a chance to see him yet, but um, I will. Uh, and I want you to come out there. And um, it's going to be on July 27th at 3 o'clock. So if you want more information on this, give a call to 860-548-9144. And um, the other thing that I want to tell you about is the 58... 581 Entertainment presents The Divas, Patricia Thompson, Barbara Fowler, and Linda Ransom. That's going to be on July 27th, uh, Saturday at uh, 7 o'clock, and it's going to be at the Lincoln Theater, all right, and the cost is $37, and I know you will enjoy that one because they have a red carpet. Um, I won't be in town, but... Um, I would love to go to the event. Maybe I have to change my rec my uh, calendar. It seems pretty good, but anyway, I'm going to move on with that. And for more information, you can call the University of Hartford box office, 860-768-4228. Uh, and uh, it's 200 Bloomfield Avenue out in West Hartford. And uh, let's see. Uh, they got a well, actually for tickets too. I'm reading this, and it's uh, if you want to get first class. I mean, call first class barbershop, 258 Windsor Avenue. That's out in Windsor, Connecticut. That number is 860-216-5054. All right, so watch out for that one. I will be going. And um, what I want to talk to you about now is an upcoming event that's going to be. Not in Harvard, but it's going to be in Connecticut, Stanford, Connecticut. And um, it's called A Star is Born 5, Grace. This is uh, with my girlfriend, uh, Cherie Humphrey. I work with her at a couple of events and a sister. And it's going to be um, Saturday, August 3rd at 12 noon. Starts at 1230. The admission is $25. And it includes a light meal. Um, and kids for free. I mean, kids, five. And under are free. A meal, well, the meal is not included. So I want you to know that just in case, all right? So um, there's going to be a couple of people that's going to be there. And um, going to be featuring the Violin Diva. Teresa of New York. I just want to tell you a little bit about it because um, it's going to be a short version of, of what you're going to see in a very few minutes. Also, um, they will be having honorees there. And she, uh, Sheena Bailey will be there. She is a poet. She's been um, seen on uh, MY9 MTV, Steve Harvey Show. And uh, also, if you're interested, and um, if you want to get involved, have your kids uh, participate. And um, what you can do is uh, give a call over to, let me see if I can get the number 
actually, um, <clears throat> actually they're having auditions. And that's going to be, I don't have no phone number, I'm so sorry, 925 Broad Street out in Bridgeport, Connecticut, 1230 to 230. Um, and in this clip, you will see the information. So what I just spoke about, give a call and ask about that if you're interested in getting involved, having your kids get involved. I believe the ages are from um, 13 to 17, but uh, check out the clip. We'll be with you in just a couple of minutes. And meanwhile, I just want to see everybody out there because I will be My name there. is Pamela Wright. I am from accesstv.org. Yeah, and I want to just bring a Yo, friend on in. Yes! This is Shari. Okay! <laughs> Shari Humphrey, <laughs> and she's uh, the founder of Diamond, Diamond and the Rock. Rock. <laughs> right, that's right. Hey, you got to talk to me about this upcoming show you got coming up. Yes, Diamonds in the Rough, Finding the Spirit in Me is back once again, and we are doing A Star is Born 5 Race, and it is going to be Saturday, August August the 3rd. That's right. Yes. Uh, I'm going with two way back, but it's August in the hot month. Yes, and it's going to be in Stanford, Connecticut this year at Cafe Eats, a.k.a. 804 Club on the South End in Stanford. Doors open at 12, and it's from 12.30 to 4.30. Doors close at 5. Come out, get your tickets, call 203-952-9807. We're going to have a fabulous time. That's right. Yes, oh. Alicia Green's supposed to be there oh, because, yeah. you know, last year she was our doctor. I heard that you settled down, how you found a girl and you every now. So that was Alicia Green. And what I like to do is I hope I come and see somebody from Hartford, anybody, a couple people, just uh, come by and check it out. There's lots of um, events that's going to be happening, lots of vendors and everything, so check it out. So now <clears throat> I'm on my last announcement. And uh, I know I talk a lot about MCC on Main out in Manchester. And um, they got a lot of things going on over at MCC on Main. And uh, I was at Imagine last month, and I met a gentleman. Um, I'm not going to tell you his name yet, but I want to read a couple of the announcements, and I'm going to tell you who this gentleman is. As I tell you, he's very, very interesting, very good, very talented, and had a lot of things going on. Um, they, got, they had an open mic on the 11th. I also went to that one. I met a gentleman named Warren Hawk. He'll be over at MCC on Main on the 13th, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, they also have Eight Mile River Band. That was yesterday. Sorry about that. You missed it. But on the 19th, they got Deb Simmons, and uh, she does jazz and blues. Rock also. That's interesting. Also, Chad Brown Springer. All right. He's... Uh, does poetry. No, he does alternative R&B. I got to check him out. And um, Isaac Young Quartet. Now, some of these functions, they are, they have charges. Uh, they have a cover charge. But uh, the one tonight is a $5 cover charge. So just come on out anyway. $5 is not nothing. Just come on out and enjoy yourself. And um, for the one for the 19th, Deb Simmons, uh, Contemporary Jazz, Blues, and Rock. That's free. So come on and enjoy yourself while you can, I tell you. Anyway, let me uh, give you the telephone number if you want more information. I also want you to take a chance to jump up on the website, too. But the telephone number is 860 647 6063. And um, you can get on the website at uh, MCC on Main. Um, you can also Google it, too, and just go to the flyer. Go straight to the flyer, and you'll see the flyer. And, um, well, I'm not going to do any more longer here. I'm going to introduce my guest, <clears throat> Kemet Maroon. 
All right. Thank you for coming to my show. Make Greetings. it happen. Greetings. Yeah. Greetings. All right. And I met him, like I said earlier, at the uh, Imagine function that they had. And I came out to him because he did such a good job. You've done. Yeah. Poetry. You've done. Yeah. And the way you do, like, give love and you snap your fingers. Yeah, it, frequencies. It, yeah, frequencies. <laughs> yes. I love that, I tell you. You've done. Yes. And um, let's see. On the poetry line, because yes. I know you do, you're a poet, you do, yes. you're an artist, you're yes. a musician. Yes. And you're a, write, you're a yes. writer. So... Wow. And also, you make your own jewelry. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Um, how did you come? Can you tell me how did you come about to um, getting into MCC on Main? And he's also, he's also hosting now. He yes. hosts the open yes. mic now. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit how you came about into getting into being the host? Absolutely. First and foremost, I want to give thanks to Mother God and Father God. I would like to say that the women are the leaders. Yes, and the men rule, and they're the provider of protection, and the children are the future. Now, I got involved with being a host there because I'm a student at MCC. So the student activities director named TJ, he actually brought me out to come to a performance. He couldn't find somebody to fill the position, so then I took over from there. Oh, okay. That's right. And... um the event, Imagine, was your first one that you did? No, the first event that I had was last semester. Somebody didn't show up to complete uh -huh. their contract to have their shows. Mm -hmm. So I showed up. I took over the shows. I started to promote, market, and advertise for myself, mm -hmm. reach out to the different individuals that I meet on a day-to-day -day basis, and set a date. Yeah. And the individuals liked what I was doing up there, Kenyon. You know, the Connies, thank you very yes. much for the opportunity. And they've just been bringing me out yeah. ever since. And I had Kenyon Grant on my show too. So, you know, I Kenyan. reached out. Hi, Kenyon. Thank you, Kenyon. Yes. And uh, she is such a sweet girl. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me about, you know, the people that you, you get. You know, you have poetry and you had like a couple there yesterday mm -hmm. singing. And it's nice just to see people come on out because I know it's hard trying to get the people together at times. Mm. Um. You know, like I said, we have to be self-efficient, mm -hmm. self-reliant. So I'm marketing, promoting, and advertising by myself. Yeah. And whoever would like to share it on Facebook or Twitter, they're there for me. So what I do is I get people from all walks of life. I have people uh, from the age of seven up to about 60. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And I want to say this also. There is only one human being or a starling on the face of this planet, and that is the African. You know, whether you're the blackest African or pinkest African, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I have individuals from all walks of life that come, you know, train wreck, he comes, he does a lot of folk, country, mm -hmm. you know, individuals like Chad Brown Anderson, he comes and mm -hmm. do his alternative music. Um, Amber, she does poetry. Another young lady named Narelle, you know, Cato. So it's a lot of individuals that's in the community because I'm extremely social. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I see people on the roadside um, and just abreast them, let them know we have these events going on, whether they want to be an onlooker or, or somebody that comes in and performs. Mm -hmm. And also um, on the MCC website, uh, there's a gentleman that I was watching because I was on the website, and i like you to go there too when you get a chance after my show. And there's this gentleman by the name of Laugh, mm -hmm. and he did poetry, um, and the title was Words Unsaid. Mm. So that was a fabulous one that he did. Also, there was another gentleman I was just telling him about that I enjoyed listening to. He uh, did a poem, too, also. Well, he was rapping, but he, uh, the way he was rapping was really interesting. He was rapping to the instrumental um, music of I Can Feel It in the Air, and that was so beautiful. So I want you to go to MCC and check it out, too, also. And like I said earlier, you do poetry, too? Absolutely, I do poetry. Oh, okay. And uh, the certain types of poetry that um, uh, Kemet does, you know, have, 
they are very, some of them are very different. So, you know, you have to be open. That's what I said. You have to be really open. And uh, what I wanted to ask you earlier was, what are you taking up in Manchester Community College? Well, right now I'm just doing a math class and I'm going to do a little pottery. So then I'm just moving on. You know, I was thinking about you, Hart, but I might just do New Britain, you know, Central Connecticut. Okay. So, you know, really, I'm just really into being a local mogul, mm -hmm. all these different creative arts that I have. Okay. I gained them from my mother, you know, my grandmother. My grandmother taught me how to crochet. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? My mom taught me these things. My grandmother taught me how to pray. So it comes to yes. a point where the spirituality, that's, you know, that's the cornerstone, you know. Yes. Um, I would also like to add that um, just for the poetry that I'm working on, you know, when it comes to public speaking, you have four things. You have um, public speaking for entertaining. You have public um, speaking for persuasion. Mm -hmm. You have public speaking for entertainment. And you have public speaking for commemorating. Now, commemorating is like paying homage, giving thanks to our forefathers and our foremothers. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of that. I say a lot of the names of the, um, my past ancestors, you know, talk about the stories, you know, because how can we know where we're going if we don't know where we're coming from? That's and we're in true. the Western civilization. Yeah. They're not teaching me too much about Africa. You know? Yeah, we need to go back to um, yeah. to our roots too yeah. also. Like a tree. Yeah. How can I stand without my roots? That's true, that's true. Um, have you done any acting too? Yes. I, um yeah. well like I've always been an animated individual since I've been young and mm -hmm. always had ideas and always playing games, you know, mm -hmm. at least like comic books. But um far as acting, you know, having my own commercials on channel five when I got the opportunity, um individuals we used to go out to new york my yes. friend used to be into the acting he was doing like i think it was low budget films but it was great mm -hmm. i used to be an extra so you know <laughs> i'm just an individual that you know i'm very adaptive yeah and, you know and i'm just you you know i am an actor you know mm -hmm. action that's right <laughs> and um a musician writer mm -hmm. um How'd you come about doing that, being a well, musician? Well, like, like my grandmother always sung in the church. My mother always sung. She still is singing now. Um, so I was always around music, mm -hmm. guitars. For me personally, I'm into the drum, the djembe, a percussionist. Mm -hmm. You know, the djembe has three spirits. You know, has, it has a spirit of the individual, the, the wood, the person that cuts it down, and then you have the um, whatever animal you use you know, to put the skin on there. Mm -hmm. So um, with that being said, it's called the talking jump. You know, we use it in festivals, harvesters. You know, this is what we use um, as our education. When it came to um, talking about our history, our tradition, it's in the music. Yes. You know, we can't carry all these books. It's too heavy. We used to put it in <laughs> walls, but you see, they, they, they take them out the walls, but you can't change the music. That's why a lot of the slaves after the transatlantic waters, there was a lot of singing, even dealing with beautiful women like the Harriet Tubman, you know, yes. know the, the songs to go to the North Star, you know, come up north, you know. So music is our root, is our, it is our heartbeat, you know. So we give thanks to people, you know, the Nayabingis and the Baba Shanti in Abyssinia, in Africa, you know, keeping it with the one, two, just like our heartbeat, you know, or one tree, however you want to say it, mm -hmm. you know. So it comes to a point where it is our spirituality, the music. It is our soul. Sing and love. A lot of the music nowadays, of course, the individuals, the higher, the, the, the higher, you know, the corporation, they control the music. So, of course, they won't let too much of the positive music reign. You know, they're not there to tell you, don't make disrespectful music or degrading music. They're there to tell you to make money. And most of the music that you hear, you know, from these, you know, these, these, these spiritual people, there's a lot of poor Sufferation, but that's the music to lift them up. That's the richness yes, right there. It does. You know, it does lift you up. Yes. that's the richness right there with our culture. You know, so where I am right now, I have so much to learn. I want to say this also. I want to add this. I don't know anything. I don't know nothing. I'm sorry. I got so much learning to do. I got <laughs> so much learning to do. Good. So please, if you're in the community and you see me, please don't be afraid to um speak to me. I may look crazy to you, but you know, no, I'm a I'm a starling. You can speak with me. We are one people. Like I said, right. there's no there's no segregation. We don't like that, you know? We right. are one people. The African people. That's true. And you you know, when you see people, um, you talk to the person, even though they don't look like you I mean, they don't look mm -hmm. dressy dressy or anything like that, but they have so much they have so many skills. Give time. Yeah. So many skills. And um 
Um, what I'm actually trying to say is like, don't judge a person mm. by what they look like. You talk to them. And um, from what I've seen by you, you're really good. You're really relaxed out there. She and uh, <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. Oh, Ooh, my I, goodness. Except for my cold, I was shivering. I had to put... But the AC was good for me. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't forget, everybody, on MCC on Main. And they have a beautiful flyer here, which I really like. Um, and it's 903 Main Street in Manchester. So... Uh, come check him out. I know you'll be doing another open mic next month too, right? Yes, um, the end of this month is going to be um, July 24th, 2013 oh. from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. Oh, you're it's, doing that one on the yes. Okay. So it's on a Wednesday. Okay. It's yeah. open and free to the public. Please come out if you're a musician, if you sing, um, if you just want to just full joy yourself because I don't want to end joy. Come out and just, you know, we're very social. We're networking, like I said, we're marketing, promoting, and advertising ourselves. So please, mm -hmm. come out and show support. When you help someone else, you help yourself. That's true. That's true. And I believe that. Because I like to help a lot of people out, and I want the Hartford community to know about you and what you do. And um, hopefully Hartford will be doing the same thing, too. So we're going to spread it around from Manchester to Hartford and Give to thanks. Stanford. Yeah. Give thanks. Yes. Um, I know that um, you you wrote a little bit of things. To, oh, yeah. Give them your information for you. Okay. The information that we have for Facebook is um, www.facebook.com slash Kemet Maroon, K-E-M-E-T-M-A-R-O-O-N. And we also have the www.twitter.com slash Kemet Maroon. We also have www.kemetmaroon, K-E-M-E-T, dot M-A-R-O-O-N. All right. Yeah. And that's for Gmail, okay? And then we also, you know, we have SoundCloud. You got a lot of them. Check out SoundCloud, www.soundcloud.com slash kemetmaroon. And also, um, we also have the blog spot. So check out the blog spot, um, kemetmaroon, kemet slash maroon at blogspot or dot blogspot. And also remember on the YouTube page. Yeah. Yeah, www.youtube.com slash C A S S A N O V A T H E D O N. Casting over the Don. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a nice it's, it's one. Kind of, it, that's that's the old page. I have a lot of videos on there okay. of me. I couldn't of find any what? photographers or people with cameras, so I had my own camera <laughs> and I just started posting up these different videos. So please subscribe. If you could, if you have a YouTube account, let's friend one another and let's build ourselves from the grassroots. Oh, really? How long yeah. have you been doing the YouTube? I've been doing YouTube uh, probably like um, seven years now, probably six, not too long. Oh, okay. right When my hair was short. <laughs> when your hair was short. <laughs> yeah. Before oh, Selassie. My. Oh, my goodness. And um, let's see. Do you have a, a, poet, a poem that you can, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. I have it somewhere registered in my mind. Now, okay. I also like to add, we use music also. I learned this um, in my English 102 class, mm -hmm. um, using the music for love, worship, um, for victories, and to mourn deaths, even mm -hmm. though, you know, the spirit can't die. Nothing can truly die. My body is a tool. It's a resource, and I should treat it like the temple and put clean things in it, you know? So we are one people. So poetry now. Let me think. You ain't got to ask why. Feel the spirit pass by. In the black woman's womb, that's where I was baptized. That's right. That's why I show so much black pride. Because a whole lot of white guys capsize black guys. And the children in the ghetto, they don't know how to act right. Because their mothers are raped. Fathers humilified, children horrified by violence glorified. If you ask me, Mr. President, you're a lie. 
If you ask me, Mr. President, you're a spy. If you ask me, Mr. President, you're the reason why, but that's just my opinion. Lynched by William, just like the pilgrims did to the Indians. Black eugenics, women sterilized with the pilgrim. Africans were on an island before Gilligan. F. Edison, Lewis Latimer perfected the filament. And every housing project was an experiment. Dirty laundry airing it. Education, I'm sharing it. Your ethnicity and culture got to take care of it. Books were on the shelf, but now they disappearing quick. African folk songs, you rarely hear of it. If you ever wonder where the orbits went, just plug in. Time and space coordinates, follow the ordinance. Let me find out you don't know where your orbits went. You sound like an alien. You got me more convinced. Don't be subordinate. I see aliens with scaly skin. Jewish Israelians dressed in service, made suit by Asians. Mason and Nishi Asians praying as they begin to buy a Mercedes Benz. The U.S. lost a few Navy men. Charles of Williams, destruction of a black civilization. No matter location, I'm hyper-levitating through the wormhole, teleportating in this Gideon. Gentiles rise from the Caribbean and amphibians in this new millennium haunt the Caribbean. It's a gyroglyphic axis word that we spinning in. John Hanson was the first black president. It wasn't Obama or Benjamin. Equilibrium. Every time I swing the pendulum, I made a decision to be a warrior in this Armageddon. I see you on the other side. I'm taking a shuttle ride from a caterpillar cocoon to a butterfly. The chronic bloom. Sonic boom, they gave me small quantities of poison and now I'm immune. We living in a digital age, a digital time. Get yourself a digital page for a digital mind when evil speaks. I know you hear and see, but you act like you dumb, deaf, and blind. Tactical, radical, magical, longitude, latitude, shit. Everything is mathematical. Nothing but time and space between us is intergalactical. However, when I write to you, I'm giving the facts to you. So let's see that, children. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I like that one. Yeah, I noticed that you do a lot of spirit. You, yeah, you do that, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know my sister used to do that, waving and bringing in <laughs> up spirits and stuff like that. Is that right? <laughs> and sure. it does, you know, it does help. You know, mm. bringing in this, the good spirits, the good spirits. Mm. So, um, back on MC. That was beautiful. I like that Give one. Thanks. Yes. I got so much learning to do. Trust oh, me. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> so, and also when you go to MCC, you'll see people do that. Take a little break and get their, you know, mind right. Get the frequency right. Yeah. They get the frequency right and they just go for it. And um, for the open mic that you're going to be, uh, not the open mic, let me back up. I'm sorry. Uh, for the uh, Live on Main uh, on the 24th, Chad Brown Spring, uh, Springer, mm -hmm. are you going to be um, having of your, any of your jury line or any of your things that you've uh, been making no, uh, on um, the side, or when are you going to do that again? No, I'm going to bring that up for my show. The last show, I couldn't bring it because, you know, I just didn't have it there with me at the time. Okay. I usually bring them up for my shows, though. I don't know about Chad's show. I don't know okay, yeah. what kind of contract Chad has. With so, um, actually... Um, What's the date of that again? I'm sorry. When you're going to bring your jury? Because I want people to support you. The people come out there also on that date. If I'm not mistaken, it's, it's the date that's here. I keep saying the 24th. I see Chad here. Yeah. Um, I see the 25th now. It's, it's on a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, 725. Okay, the open mic. Yeah, that, right. that, um, but I think that's... We yeah, have that's here. right. What does it say here? Alternative, that's the, Chad on the 24th. Alternative R&B on the 24th and... The next day, the twenty fifth. Yes, that should it that, should be that's a Wednesday. That's when he's gonna have. Yeah, that's yes. when he's gonna have his uh, jury out. Okay. Please come out and if you want to buy jury, you can. If you want to network, if you want to share, you know, creativity and its raw expression, please come to nine zero three MCC on Main. Mm -hmm. And please just stay positive and love one another. Yeah. This is how we spell love in sign language. V E L O V E. All right. All yeah. right. Um, I want to thank you for coming on Make yeah, It give Happen. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah. I thank you very much. And um, I hope you enjoyed Mr. Uh, Kemet Maroon here. And just come on out to MCC when you get a chance. Um, they got something tonight, 7 o'clock. Um, Warren Hawk, like I said, so give I'm um, trying to support him, and don't forget to um, watch XSTV.org. Watch it, like it, share it.